Welcome to the channel guys. Today, we're going to soft mod this beautiful crystal OG Xbox. We are going to use the Rocky Fight Xbox soft modding tool. This method is very easy guys. In order to do this you need few things in hand, like a working original Xbox, a pen drive, and a USB 2 Xbox cable. The pen drive should be a low capacity old one, it is a bit hard to find one. Since the OG Xbox is an old console, it does not read new high capacity drives. I got mine from AliExpress, here are some listings. As per my knowledge it's better to try one which is below 4 gigabytes. The next item you need is this. A USB 2 Xbox cable. As you can see you need this cable to connect your pen drive to the Xbox so that you can load files from it. And again, I got this one from AliExpress too. It's not hard to find these items guys. Now if you have them let's hook it up to the Xbox and see if it works on it. Load up your OG Xbox and go to memory. Now plug in the USB drive to the controller port, likewise. If your pen drive is compatible with the Xbox this message should pop up. We can move forward if it does, if not just look for another pen drive that works with it. Now go back to the main menu and remove the pen drive from the Xbox. Ok guys, now the first step is done. Now we need to go to our PC and download some files. Go to Rocky Fi Xbox soft modding tool link that I have mentioned in the description. Scroll down to installation and click download. Download this Xbox soft modding tool zip file. When it's done go back and click Extras Disk. And download this Xbox soft modding tool Extras Disk ISO file. Now click on Extras. Download Extras Disk Attacher Zip. Now head to Fat Explorer. I have mentioned the link below. Click on 3.0 Beta. Now circle down. Under Download you can download the suitable files for your computer. My PC is 60 for bits, so I'm going with that. Make sure you download both files. Now go to your downloads folder and go to the Xbox soft modding files. There will be an exe file called Windows Desktop Runtime. Install that to your PC. When you are done installing go to the Fat Explorer folder. Open Fat Explorer exe. For your information, Fat Explorer is needed to connect your pen drive to the PC. Since you plugged your pen drive to the Xbox earlier, it is now formatted to work as a Xbox memory unit. With Flat Explorer we can use it as a regular pen drive. Once it's installed open it. As you can see down right it says driver not installed. 
Just click here to install the driver. Now install. And now the driver is installed and ready to go. Now you can go ahead and plug in your pen drive. When this message pops up do not format, just click cancel. Now go to devices. Click on refresh. Your pen drive should pop up here. Click on it. Click on load device. Select data partition. Select X. And then click on mount data partition on X. Start trial. This is your pen drive, minimize it for now. Now go back to the Xbox soft modding tool folder. Go to soft mod package. And zip the end game zip file. Go to end game. Copy all the files and folders in here. And paste them all to the pen drive. When it's done go to this PC and find the pen drive. Open it and see if the files are all copy. If so close it and go back to Fat Explorer. Click on devices. Click on your pen drive and and mount. Now you can close Fat Explorer and eject your pen drive from this PC. Okay guys now we are ready to soft mod our Xbox. Load up your Xbox and go to memory. Now plug in your pen drive like before. Now go ahead and select your pen drive. It should bring you to a screen like this one. And your Xbox light should turn red at this point. It is just a part of the process. After a while you will come to this screen. Press A. It will extract some files now. Press A. Select I understand. Your system will restart again. Your OG Xbox is now soft modded. You can go to system and change the skin. I changed mine to the default theme. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Now we need to transfer the extras disk file to the Xbox hard drive, so that we can install applications and also, background sounds. For this you need to connect your Xbox to the internet. Once you connect you will get an IP address like shown in the bottom right corner. In order to transfer files to the Xbox hard drive we need FileZilla running on our PC. Download it to your PC and install it, link is given below. When it's done open it up. Now let's change some settings. Make sure FTP set to passive. Under transfers change this number into 9. And file type into binary. 
press OK. Now go to the home screen and type your Xbox IP address here. And make sure your Xbox is running and connected to the internet. Username is Xbox, type it in. Password is Xbox2. Type 21 into port. And then press Quick Connect. When you are connected your Xbox hard drive will show here. Select D. Go to Backups. Select this folder and drag and drop it to your desktop. Open it. Open Xbox Info Text. This serial number is needed if you are going to upgrade your hard drive in the future, so keep it safe. Now go to your Downloads folder. Find the Extras Disk files you downloaded before. And zip Extras Disk Attacher. Open folder. Now go back. Now copy this ISO file. And go back to Extras Disk Attacher folder. And paste it to the Xbox Soft Modding Tool Extras Disk folder. Open it. Check if all these files are there. If so go back to FileZilla. Go to E. Go to Applications. Now drag and drop the Xbox Soft Modding Tool Extras Disk folder here. Wait till it copies. Now go back to your Xbox. Go to Applications. Select Xbox Soft Modding Tool Extras Disk. You will come to this menu. Now let's go to Applications and install some apps. Go to DVD to Xbox. Select D. Now DVD to Xbox will install. It will let you copy Xbox DVD disc to the hard drive. In that way you can play all your Xbox games without a disc. You can install all the other apps if you want. But now let's go back and go to Dashboards to get our background sounds on. Go down to MS Dashboards. Press Install. This will not only give us background sounds, but also will give us access to the OG Microsoft Xbox dashboard. When it installs, go back and turn off your Xbox and turn it back on. As you can see now we have background sounds. Now let's go to applications. And here are the apps that we installed from the extras disk file. Let's try out the Microsoft dashboard. There it is, all good here too. Let's play a game to see if everything is alright. This one is a North American and TSC version. And my console was a PAL region 1. Since we have soft modded the Xbox now, we should be able to play any game from any region. Let's try it out.
earlier my Xbox didn't even recognize this game as a Xbox game. Now it seems like it's reading fine. Well for me, it was all about the region free gaming guys. I had a bunch of other North American games laying around but I couldn't play them. Now the problem is solved. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, have fun gaming.